In this in vivo 12 for Mac demonstration video, we're going to talk about how to work with classifications, how to use a classification sheet to create cases for each of our participants, and then how to set the attributes and values for each of those cases. So the first thing that we want to do is to talk about how to import a classification sheet. And you can create classifications inside of InVivo, but in this demonstration we're going to talk about how to import them from an Excel spreadsheet, which I think in my experience is a more common way for a research project to have the demographic data for the participants. I'm going to open my classification sheet in Excel. And this is pretty typical for research projects that I would be involved in where I've actually got a column with the child's name in it, what school, teacher, their ELL status, what language is spoken at home, ethnicity, gender, and so forth. So this is a pretty typical set of demographic data that you might possibly have for your participants. The idea is we want to be able to attach all of these tags for each child to all of the data that's generated by that child's family or by that child. So, for example, we'd like any files that are generated by Amari or Amari's family to be coded to an Amari node that also has attached to it which school he attends, who his teacher was, his ELL status, and so forth. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take an Excel file like this. We're going to get it formatted so we can import it into InVivo 12 for Mac. This works a little differently than the InVivo 12 for PC version, so if you've used that before, you need to pay attention to the differences here. One of the differences is that you can't import the sheet, the Excel sheet, exactly like it is. Instead, you've got to save it as a .csv file. So I'm going to come up to Excel, I'm going to say Save As, and in the file format, I'm going to choose CSV UTF-8 which is a comma delimited file. I'm going to tell it to save. So now we're going to go back to our InVivo 12 test project and we're going to import the classification sheet that we've just saved. To do that we're going to click the data tab in the menu ribbon and we're going to come over to the classification sheets item. We're going to search out for the classification sheet that we just formatted. We're going to open it. Now we have the Import Classification Sheets Assistant that will just sort of walk us through this. Classification type, we are going to choose Case Classification. You might use File Classification if you were importing bibliographic data that went with a set of articles that you were coding for a structured review, but we're actually going to create cases for each of our participants, so we want Case Classification. For text files, create new classification, and I need to give it a name, so I'm going to call it student, because that's the kind of cases that we're going to have. I want to create new attributes if they do not exist, and I want to update the classification of existing files or cases, say next. Uh, create new cases if they don't exist, and we really don't have a lot of choices here. These are all chosen for us. I'm going to say import. In order to see the results of what we just did, we want to come to Cases in Navigation View. We, we want to look for Case Classifications folder. And you see here's our student classification. And to the right of it, you see here it is, it says Student in Detail View, and now you see all of the attributes. It also tells the type of text that was in each column. We can also see the classification sheet by clicking on the other tab and we see each of the cases and the values for each attribute. So for instance, here's Adiola. She was at school C. Her teacher was PL. Uh, ELL status was no. Language was English and so forth. So for each of our cases, we see the values that were assigned that we imported directly from our Excel file with all the demographic data. If you click on the Cases subfolder, you'll also see all of the cases. And if you right-click on one, to get info, you can change the properties if you needed to do that. In Navigation View, if we come down to the Cases, we can see all of the names of the children's cases. So to view the classification sheet that we just created, we would come and click on the classification name in List View, and if we double click on that, in Detail View, we see the classification sheet and we actually have a choice to also see the attributes. So I'll click on that and show you those. Now that we've created a set of cases, 
We can also see them in list view by clicking on the cases folder. We have some data that's already been imported that was generated by the families of each of these children. So let's go back to our surveys folder and let's choose a child. Let's choose Imari. So Imari had a survey that his family created. And what we want to do is we want to be able to essentially code Imari's file to the case for Imari so that all of those characteristics about what language was spoken at home, what school he went to, who his teacher is, is connected to this file. So I'm going to come over to the Imari file. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to code files. And notice one of the choices is add existing nodes or cases. So I'm going to select that out of the pop-up box. I'm going to click on cases so that I what I see here is with cases. And I'm going to look for Amari's name. Here it is. I'm going to put my checkbox next to Amari so that he's selected and I'm going to select it. And I've now coded this file to Amari's case. We see that the whole thing has been coded to the Amari case because we see that I've got the coding stripes on and we can see that. So essentially, now every word in Imari's survey has tags attached to it that tell what school he went to, whose teacher is. So no matter what node we code a bit of his file to, it will have all of that demographic information attached to it.